So how do bus drivers get a 40-foot bus through sticky traffic situations? Welcome to Miss Hood's School Bus Life. It's a challenge every morning, driving your bus, getting where you need to go. Some of the roads in this neighborhood, here we go. Now, do you see that truck that's parked on the side of the road? Well, if you're driving a school bus and you gotta get through here, pick your kids up, and there's somebody parked on the other side, You'll have a car parked over here, and then you got to get a bus right through it. And you have to remember that we've got these big old mirrors that we've got to watch out for as we drive in between these two vehicles. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. And this is another road. I had to come down this road all the time, and I dreaded it because there's so many cars parked here. And somebody will put something like this dumpster right in the road. When you're a school bus, you're pretty wide. The other tricky thing I would run into right here. Right here, there'd be a truck parked right at that sign. Now when I pull my bus out and I turn left, I need a whole lot of room to turn that bus. I have to go, I'd have to go all the way out straight because if I turn the bus too soon, the back of my bus would have wiped that truck out that was parked there. These houses in this neighborhood, they sell anywhere from half a million two million dollars and I do not understand why people park their cars on the street. They've got these two, three car garages behind the house and they park out on the street. Very careful. It's just another day in Miss Hood's school bus life. Drive safe everybody.